वेलकम टू माई YouTube चैनल एट लैब जीनियस इन टू डे सेशन वी आर टेकिंग अप एक्सल मोड्यूल थ्री सेम एग्जाम आई विल गाइड यू थ्रू दिस एग्जाम स्टेप बाय स्टेप मेकिंग इट इजी फॉर यू टू फॉलो एंड यू कैन डन योर एग्जाम बाय वाचिंग दिस वीडियो फोकसिंग ऑन एक्सल मोड्यूल थ्री सेम एग्जाम आई कैन डू ऑल असाइनमेंट ऑल क्विजेस एग्जाम एंड कंप्लीट कोर्स Please contact me for your assignments, exam quizzes, or complete course through my WhatsApp and email. Both are given in description. I will provide you A plus grade in your complete course. Let's start our exam to solve step by step. Question one is that rotate the contents of the cells in range B3 to H4 to exactly 60 degree, which is four points up to the left of zero degree. Marker on the orientation. Okay, first we select this range. Orientation. Format. Okay. And orientation is ninety sixty sixty degree. Okay, six degree. Answer correct. Okay, it's done. Okay, next question is that align the contents of cell A three vertically using the bottom align option. Okay, align the contents of cell A three vertically using the bottom line. Okay, bottom line. Okay, done. Now question number three is that use the auto fill feature to fill the range B3 to E3 with the series of labels for the four quarters in here. Okay. Next one is use auto fill to the fill D5 to D18 with only the formatting from the cell D4. First we select this range. Okay, then okay only the formatting without only formatting. Okay, done this step now. Step number five is that indent the contents of cell A5 to A12 by single identity indentation level. Okay, first we select this range. Okay, then done. Now move the contents of G9 to cell A11. Okay, then okay, copy the values and number formatting, but not the Underlying formula, underlying formula of cell K4 to K6 in four range B4 to B6. Okay. Try this. Then, okay. Let's try this part. Like this. Go to copy the. Then. Okay. Then. Okay. Insert a page break between row sixteen and row seventeen of the worksheet. We have to do page break sixteen and row seventeen. Okay, go to break and insert page break. Okay, 
insert a new row above row 9 basically we will have to insert a new row on row 9 click on row 9 and right click on this and insert new row right click okay go to insert click on row 9 insert and insert Right click on this and insert simply is that it will be inserted. Insert a new column to the top left of column D to the left column of D. Okay, it will be done. Okay, next step is that using the keyboard enter the value of 14% in cell B8, including the percent sign. 14%. Okay. Answer clear. Read row 8 and the value sheet. Click on row 8 and read this. Okay. In cell E4, enter a formula using the relative cells references that multiplying cell C4 by D4. Enter the formula in cell E4. C4 24 done okay. Enter the formula and cell C5 that divided the values in cell B5 by the values in B15 using the absolute cell reference by B15. Okay. Enter the formula and cell C5. Dividing the values in B5 over by dividing B15. B5 over divided by B15 divided by D15 sorry B15 okay it will be fine sorry B5 over B15 dollar sign must okay then it will be fine okay 17 percent of oh, I have done enter a formula in cell A4 using the A function that returns the value of yes if cell D4 is greater than 25 and value of no if cell D4 is less than 25 25 or less than 25 okay enter a formula in cell E4 click in cell E4 Next question. In cell F4, enter a formula using the nested function to calculate the bonus amount using the following function. Arguments enter D4 is equal to 3 as the logical test arguments. Enter if and D4 is equal to 3. And logical test argument E4 multiplying by 1. E4 multiplying by 1. That's the value if the argument and enter if. Okay. Insert a column type sparkle in cell B7 using the data range B4 to B6. Insert a column sparkle in cell B7. Click on cell B7, go to insert and go to column sparkle. Okay, then B7 to B4 to B6. Okay, then click OK. Press OK. Then it will be insert column sparkle in on subscribe. In cell D6, enter a formula using the in okay then next question change the style of the sparkling in cell b7 to change the sparkling style as in 6 darker 25 percent change the style of sparkling b7 to or in okay change the style design and go to sparkling okay then darker as in 6 okay done unsubscribe 
ओके टू दी स्पार्क लाइन इन द रेंज जे फोर टू जे सेवन एट द ऑरेंज मार्कर टू द हाई पॉइंट एंड एट द रेड मार्कर टू द लो पॉइंट एट ऑरेंज मार्कर टू द हाई पॉइंट एंड एंड रेड मार्कर टू द लो पॉइंट हाई पॉइंट फॉर रेड ऑरेंज ऑरेंज मार्कर रेड ओके आंसर करेक्ट नाउ नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज दैट यूज द फॉर्मेट पेंटर टू अप्लाई द फॉर्मेटिंग फ्रॉम सेल ए3 टू सेल बी3 टू बी डी3 ओके यूज फॉर्मेट पेंटर आंसर करेक्ट ओके टू अप्लाई देन एट द साइज टू द कॉन्टैक्ट्स ऑफ सेल ए4 आंसर करेक्ट It is at a 3D cluster column chart in the worksheet based on the range A3 to R6. Basically, we we will have to select this range, then we will insert a 3D cluster column chart. First, we select this range A3 to R6, then go to the insert tab, then go to the 3D cluster column chart. A3D. Okay, sorry. मूव दार चार्ट टू दैट दी अपर लेफ्ट कॉर्नर ऑफ द चार्ट बॉर्डर इज ओवर साइड डी वन रेड क्लिक ऑन दिस कॉट एंड वेस्ट ऑन डी वन ओके अपर लेफ्ट कॉर्नर डी वन नॉट स्क्ट Enter the text workshop participant in the column chart title placeholder. Workshop participant column chart title placeholder. Workshop participants. Workshop participants. then presenter workshop participant then presenter okay sorry workshop participants workshop participants participants then press enter or okay, cancel that add a chart title elements to the chart in the default location above the chart okay the chart title okay then cancel that in the cluster column chart move the chart legend to the bottom position legend and to the bottom position click on legend to the bottom position bottom position of the graph on the cluster chart add a title participant okay next question change the text direction of the vertical axis with number of participant to horizontal change the text direction of the vertical axis title number of participant to the horizontal let us click on this okay sorry let us click on this sorry okay sorry. and go to format photo rotate more or cancel that now apply the general number format to the value on the vertical axis okay 
No estoy sin usar. On the vertical axis of the cluster column chart, define 20.0 as the major unit, 5.0 as the minor. Okay. Put this video. 20.0 as a major. 0.0 as a minor unit. Okay. I have done 31 question. For remaining question, you want to do for complete course. Please contact me through my WhatsApp and email. Both are given in the description and both are shown on the piece screen. Thanks for watching this video. I will provide you A plus in your assignment, quizzes, exam and complete course. Please subscribe my channel and like my video. Best of luck.